Deftones are an alternative metal band who were formed in Sacramento in 1988. Uh, they're still going with four members and they have four ex members. Uh, they did have 15 years with a stable lineup. Uh, their first album was released in 1995 and they have released eight more since then. Hi, my name's Dan. So this was the second album by Deftones and um, it was uh, quite a big seller for them and uh, in contrast to the first one so i guess it's a it's a breakthrough album um i think this is uh, my first listen of this album i have listened to deftone stuff before um i, I want to talk very briefly about the cover i often don't uh, comment on the the album covers uh, but i do have a policy of uh, trying to keep my uh, channel this channel kind of free of uh, anything that could be accused of being dodgy in um, in kind of you know adult ways, um, just because uh, I don't know who's who's out there as you know general public, um, and I would categorise this one as borderline. Um, I was kind of not sure which way to go. It's not actually uh, technically nudity, uh, but it is quite suggestive. Um, but yeah. I guess, I mean, I'm not a huge fan of the cover, to be honest, uh, but I guess it's quite memorable. Uh, you could certainly you know, spot it out of a, a bunch of records. Uh, so anyway, let's get into the music. Um, so this is uh, metal. Uh, it's pretty heavy, uh, in as metal tends to be, I guess. Um, it's a little different to what I think mainstream metal at the time was, well, it was going in all sorts of directions at this point. Um, but it's it doesn't sound like, for example, Metallica or somebody like that. Um, and maybe that's what makes them uh, labelled as being alternative metal. Um, I kind of think, um, and nobody else in the stuff that I've read seems to seems to have said it, but I kind of feel that there's, there's some influence of grunge in here, but it's particularly because they have a a tendency to do the quiet and loud thing that grunge does not quite as much as uh, nirvana for example who, who who really did that um but uh it, it does chug sometimes which is a g -g 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 kind of thing but not that often more often you've got a wall of guitars uh, there's not a lot of uh what i think of as uh, shredding which is the, the kind of shrieking guitar solo stuff that you get with metal sometimes there's some more unusual guitar techniques at, at times, particularly when it's kind of on its own and you can hear it isolated and you've got some interesting um, way of making a, a, a blanket sound uh, through. Um, the, uh, I want to bring out the drummer particularly uh, because the, there's some solid and really good uh, grooves. Uh, it's a good backbone to it. And again, I think this is something that maybe is a little different to some other metal from around at the time that it's 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 got more of a a, um, a sense of that groove to it um there's there's vocals uh, of various kinds so the singing uh, there's uh, what i believe is described as unclean vocals i'm not going to try and do a demonstration but it's kind of growling raw thing and there's whispering and muttering which is also unusual in this and there's definitely um a thing for getting a microphone right in the guy's face and then kind of you know whispering half whispering half muttering words which gives it a sort of interesting uh intensity to it in fact the whole thing i would describe as being dark and intense uh, it all works as a package it all works together uh you can't hear many of the words uh so apparently the tracks are about uh, real life but mostly unpleasant sides of real life so things like uh, bad relationships, uh, drugs, some hints of violence. There's some, uh, there is some sweary stuff in here, um, and again, some other adult content, I think. Um, but as I say, I, I can pick out some bits, but certainly I would say less than 30% um, can actually work out. Um, musically, I enjoyed it. Um, I, I like a bit of metal, I like a good bit of metal, and I would say this was a, a good bit of metal. It felt um, it, it had a good kind of feel to it. Um, I like the way they handled the quieter bits. Uh, so uh, I like the stuff, the track Mascara, particularly, which is um, just 
bass and drums for a while and um they do that they do that sound well as well so i quite like this album what do you think please do talk to me through the comments box that's it from me for now (laughs) 